What's up, YouTube? I just thought I'd do a short little video. Uh, just pretty much a small update on the turtles and their enclosures. Uh, same old, same old with the tank. It's just standard, regular 55 gallon. I uh, have four turtles in here, two pastels, and one, uh, two concentrics, two concentric diamondbacks. And they're always begging whenever I'm near the tank. It's cute and it's, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, uh, I have the stock tank pond set up now with a few changes. Uh, still, it's in its first stages of uh, completion. Still pretty bad looking. Although, like I said, it's still in the beginning stages. So, I'll show you that in a bit. Just want to show you Frost. Look if I can get a good shot. Oh, she wants to leave. Or he wants to leave. Still 100% on the gender. You notice, uh, Lux has gotten pretty big. I think he's about an inch and a half. No, I mean about two inches. A little bigger than two inches. He's really growing nicely. Yeah. Uh, right behind this rock, uh, the pastels love to hide behind this. Maybe a little shot of them. That looks like it's Kush. And there he goes. Uh, yeah, that's about as good as I can get. Uh, pastels are always very, very skittish. They usually warm up to people around hmm, the three inch mark, maybe. I don't know. It depend it, all turtles are different. But I think that's how long it took uh, Turkleton to get used to me. Yeah, you see, I just walk up to them and they run the hell. They're like opposite of DVTs. <laughs> oh. And there's Oscar. Oscar the Plecos. But. Alright, uh, let's get to the pond. Just move on here. Yeah. So as you can see, it's a Rubbermaid 300 gallon pond. It's still very ugly looking. I got uh, some lily pads, some duckweed, and I uh, just got the Skippy filter running. I made it like uh, the pond's been running for like two, no, about a month. And, uh, yeah, you can finally see the bottom. First week I was worried because you couldn't see anything at all. It just looked like, uh, kind of like river water. And it's cleared up nicely. You can see Turkleton slightly. <laughs> yeah, still not good looking, but in its beginning stages, once again. There's Turkey. Uh, this, the filter kind of media I'm using is uh, Lava Rock, just because it's cheaper. And then I want to get a, a better looking plant, maybe a fern or something in the pot give a little better look to it and you can see the bottom not much to see really and then I got uh, just wood driftwood Turkleton always uses it a lot so of course it's only basking area so that makes sense it holds it holds his weight just fine yep so let's go back to the tank. 
I'd like to show more of this once I get it set up completely. I really like the depth and how big it is. Yeah. Still need uh, a lot of money invested into it. It's still new. Yeah, back to the tank. Eventually I want to get a, um, a 100 and something gallon. I'm hoping to get one, 150. It all depends on what I find on Craigslist. But 125 is 125 gallon is pretty much the lowest I'll go. I want to get a, a good big show tank eventually. Once I get my money set up and everything, that's pretty much when I can afford it. <laughs> Uh, some new rivals will be coming, I'm hoping by the end of the week, but, yeah, if not the end of the, uh, the end of the week, then the beginning of next week, I should be getting them. After that, uh, new enclosures and hopefully better camera quality. We'll follow right after that. Alright, kind of a crappy update. Uh, that's about it. It's about all the time I have right now. I plan on uh, making another video once I get those arrivals. Hopefully the end of the week. We shall see though. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.